क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज स्केलेबिलिटी इन सॉफ्टवेयर आर्किटेक्चर सो स्केलेबिलिटी इज अ टर्म दैट इज ऑफन यूज इन डिस्कशन डिजाइन डिस्कशन एंड मेनी टाइम्स लाइक इवन फॉर सोल्यूशन इट इज आस वेर योर सोल्यूशन इज स्केलेबल और नॉट और योर आर्किटेक्चर इज स्केलेबल और नॉट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड बाई वन एग्जाम्पल So let's say you are organizing a party, and in that party you have invited some guests, and according to those guests you have booked the room, and that room is up to the capacity of let's say ten people, and now suddenly in the party more than ten people show up. Like those guests, they brought their own friends and family members, and that way you have more people than that can be accommodated in that room. Now you have few options. So one option is to turn them down, but then this is not a like you know right option. That you just turn them down, then you like yeah, you're running your image, uh, kind of a thing. So other option, if you want to accommodate people, is that either you add a room, okay, so that more people can be accommodated in a different room also, or you move to a bigger room. So one of these two options you can go for. So these are the options when you provide, then your solution is scalable. Like you know, there was an unexpected event where more people turned up, more requests came, and you are able to handle that. and one of this option which is add a room which is more like a horizontal scalability and the moving to a bigger room is like vertical scalability we'll be covering these in the future lectures so let's see the definition of scalability it means the ability of a computing process to be used or produced in a range of capabilities mainly like if your solution is able to uh, you know accommodate different ranges of uh, traffic request then it's a scalable solution so what is the advantage of scalable solution the main advantage of the scalable solution is that whenever there is a change in the needs or demands of consumer your solution is adaptable to that for example like there are some certain, certain times we have a heavy shopping days like holiday season or like prime days are there in those big sales the traffic is very high the number of requests are very high So if you have implemented a scalable solution, then within few minutes or like you know you can change your system to accommodate all these requests, or sometimes even automatically your system can start adapting to those requests. So that way you don't lose business. Now, what is a scalable architecture? In scalable architecture, there are two things. One is that we should be able to handle multiple scenarios, like whether it's a low demand, high demand, we should be able to handle that. and second is it should be cost effective like there are cases where you can handle multiple scenarios but it might not be cost effective because you have reserved more capacity than that you need and you keep paying for that so that's not a scalable architecture because it's not cost effective now another question that comes up is that what is the difference between scalability versus elasticity so scalability and elasticity they look very similar terms but these days elasticity is a more popular term and then we see the cloud offerings from aws and google cloud so scalability means if we are able to increase the capacity to meet the increasing workload and elasticity mostly means that we can increase or reduce the capacity to meet the increasing or reducing of the workload so both are similar concepts but there are like minute differences between them so the right word is elasticity but still most popular word is scalability that we use so what are the aspects of scalability there are two aspects one is that we can scale up or we can scale down so whenever let's say we create a system for use of 1 million users and if there are like suddenly 100 million users come up and if we have to handle them then we can scale up whereas we created a system for 1 million users we found there are times only 10000 users who are using it then we have to scale down so that we can save costs right so we go for scaling up to handle increase in demand and we do scale down to save costs so these are the two differences between scale up and scale down that we do so that's all from scalability perspective and there are more videos on uh, horizontal scaling vertical scaling and different architecture concepts so keep subscribing to us and keep sharing your questions from your comments so that we can answer and handle those queries thanks